Well, isn't this apropos? The sky is 50 shades of gray today. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom. So excited to share this video with you. I've been talking about it for a long time, but I finally am getting to share with you guys the footage that I took of my final 50 Shades of Grey party that I threw. I had so much fun. The movie was fabulous. I'm gonna pop back on at the end after we go through all the footage that I took and just kind of give you my review. No spoilers, but I will kind of just let you know my thoughts on how they put this movie together. I wish I got a little bit more footage during the actual party, but for privacy reasons of my guests, I just really stuck more towards showing you guys my layout, the food, the decorations, and all that I put together to actually throw the party. So what we're going to roll into right now is footage of the grocery haul, and then I go over all the decorations and uh, kind of peek into the favors and the things that I got and the plans that I have for the day, and then we kind of go into the footage of the food that I ordered from Publix that was all put out on the tables and the stuff that I made and all the final decorations. So let me roll you guys into all that footage and then we'll pop back in here at the end to discuss and review the finale. Okay, so here's the last of the food that I needed to pick up for the party tomorrow. I will share with you guys the final meal plan and all of the party haul accessories once we finish going over the food. So I got this Crescent Valley variety platter of cheese. I actually love that Walmart has this. It's 32 slices, so it's eight nice wedges of each flavor. It's Colby Jack, Pepper Jack, Cheddar, and Swiss. Plus I have um, like a cranberry white cheddar in the refrigerator that I'm dying to cut up. And I'll just do this with crackers, but I think this was $5.98. You would never, it would cost you how much to buy each one of these individual ones. So I really love this. I picked up a big market side Walmart's brand Caesar salad kit just to put a, a salad on the table. And I actually think I may grill up some chicken and put it on top as well. Uh, I picked up two dips, a, a French onion and a spinach dip. I picked up some strawberries and grapes. I also have some pineapple, kiwi, oranges for the fruit platter. Definitely going off of Christian's theme of the only the submissive must eat fruit and nuts during the time of under contract and all of that. So um, I love tying in all of those things. So I have the strawberries and the grapes for that. Got a shrimp ring. I just thought that was like a classy little extra to throw on the table. Here's the trail mix for Christian's nuts with his fruit no pun intended um orange juice for mimosas um, a gallon of milk for coffee um got the mike's hard strawberry lemonade ashlyn's not a wine drinker so i picked her up a six pack of that uh, i picked up a couple packages of candy melts these were in the valentine's day section at walmart so I got two 12 ounce packages of white and then two 12 ounce packages of regular milk chocolate and I'm gonna do some candy mold lollipops as favors. I picked up these little tiny things of Pepsi. Now this was $3.98 and definitely not cost effective because it's eight 12 ounce bottles. The thing with mingling at a party though is I always feel if somebody wants a soda, it's very hard to do something with the can. Once you put the can down, like it's done, it goes flat quickly, you never know where you left your soda. So when I do parties like this, I try and get the ones with the bottle top so that someone can put their top back on, carry it with them, and it's just a little bit more convenient in traveling around. So I did pick up the Pepsi in that. Um, but I only got the eight pack of cans in this. We're not really big Diet Coke drinkers, but I know that my Aunt Cindy is and Jen said she would have some. So uh, I only got the eight pack just because I didn't want all the extras to go to waste. 
Uh, I picked up this vegetable platter. I thought this was a really great deal for Walmart too. Um, this says it was, where's the price? I know that it was on here. Oh yeah, $5.98. I thought that was great. Um, and then I know it's relatively small, but I have some extra things here. Like I have a little bit more celery to add. I have some more fresh broccoli to add. I did buy these fresh um, green beans. These are awesome on a vegetable platter. So I have a few other things that I can add to it to beef it up. I even think I have some nice big um, mushrooms. I love fresh mushrooms like dipped in dressing like that on a vegetable platter. So I'll probably cut up a few of those um, and decorate it. Um, and then look at this wine, guys. This sounds so delicious. So it doesn't even say what kind of wine it is, like whether it be a Moscato or a Chardonnay or a Pinot or something like that. Um, but it says it's a sweet pineapple and it says deliciously sweet wine with natural pineapple flavor. So that just sounds really good to me. They had a strawberry and something else, maybe maybe a peach. Um, I don't know. There's a bunch. So I chose the pineapple this time. That looked really good to me. And then last but not least, I did pick these up. Um, I'm not, this is not actually for the party. If there is anything left over, like maybe I'll just cut little squares and put it out, but we're going to be prepping all day and we're not leaving to go to the movies until about 4.30. So we're going to be busy little beavers setting up the tables and all of that. And I don't want to have to stress about stopping for lunch for the kids or for us. So these things are always great deals at Walmart. I think they were $6 and 17 cents a piece for each one of these so for 18 bucks I couldn't have even got it delivered for cheaper um, so this is a big sheet of like cheesy garlic bread like how delicious does that look and I feel like if you were to order it order it from like like a Papa John's or a Domino's you would really only get this section but it comes with two it's like a huge sheet so I think that's great and then I got just one big regular cheese um, and it even has, this is the traditional crust. It even has the instructions right here. It says cook at 400 degrees for 13 to 15 minutes. And I believe this was the five, yeah, this was five cheeses. Um, so Asiago and Romano, mozzarella. So it looks really delicious. So we got that one. And then look at this one. Oh my goodness. So this is the extreme bacon pizza. I did notice it was thin crust when I was leaving. I was not really thrilled about that. I would have preferred a bigger crust. I think they had that option. I just grabbed the wrong one, um, but we'll make do. But that's what we'll pick on for lunch. And then a majority of this food is being catered, so I didn't have to pick up too, too much. That was really the point of this party was to be kind of nice and easy and just really just have things that just need to be popped open or cheese that needs to be put on a platter that shrimp just pops open. So the whole point of this was to relax and enjoy the finale with just nice times and no stress. So um, let's get into now all of the fun favors for the party and the meal plan. Okay guys, so I wanted just to do like a little brief haul, I guess you would say, of some of the party favors and things that I'm using, um, the food that I ordered, and then what kind of little favors that I've been purchasing to give out for today. Um, now Jen and Ashlyn were trying to help me. I was just in the shower and they took a bunch of stuff upstairs and started working on it. So there's some things now that I can't show you. Really cute, cute things. Hopefully you guys will get a chance to see everything, you know, all set up later. But the girls were just trying to help me because there's still so much to do. Now, because they have a bunch of stuff, there are some things I only grabbed like one or two of just because you guys get the concept and it's just to be able to give you a visual piece of what we're using. So these stands I ordered like three years ago for my very first party and they came with like these card inserts inside. Originally I was going to change them up every year and play up to the different movies but they just did them so classy like and I've actually reused the same card stock like card that they included um, each time. So this one just has Charlie Tango with the We Aim to Please. And that one says you must eat. 
that has little handcuffs and says keep calm and listen to your inner goddess. And then this one has handcuffs as well and says keep calm and obey Mr. Gray. Now, I will tell you guys that these were probably the best investment I have ever made in my life because I have used these tabletop stands now for the past three years for so many different things and just put photos in here. Uh, I'll try and find these and attach a link to anything that maybe you'd be able to purchase. Um, in the description box but these were probably the best I got them on Etsy I believe the best purchase maybe they were 30 bucks but for parties for everything I will reuse these forever so love these tabletop stands I always put out my 50 shades wine I never want to open it to drink it this actually came with a red bottle but if you guys have been watching me for a little while, I had a bit of a meltdown a couple of months ago when Mason opened up my wine cabinet and dropped my red bottle of Fifty Shades of Wine all over the floor and it broke and splattered and you actually cannot purchase this wine anymore. It is not being sold. I have looked everywhere. My mom has looked everywhere like there's nowhere to purchase it. So unfortunately I'm down to only white and the red of my set is missing, but I will never open it now, especially since you can't get them. So that'll always just be decoration. All right, I just had to come back on and pop on just really quick right here. Uh, today is February, Sunday the 18th. Uh, the day this video is going out is the day that I'm filming this little bit of intro and the outro because obviously everything else was filmed last weekend during the party. Well. Last night, my friend Vanessa, the Lemonade Mom, if you guys have not checked her out, please go and show her some love. But she goes live at 8.30 on one of her channels on Saturday nights, each Saturday night. And last night, while on her live, I'm not even going to do it again because I cried my eyes out already yesterday, but during Valentine's Day, one of her stores near her sells the Fifty Shades of Grey wine, and she found the replacement not just the red but she also bought a bottle of white but she found the red and I was just editing this back and got to this part and I immediately just got choked up because you can even hear in my voice when I was going over this just how sad I am that I lost that bottle of wine and then somebody who met me on YouTube and lives God knows how many miles away found something like that for me and changed something that I will save for the rest of my life. So thank you, sweetheart. See, I knew it was going to happen. Thank you so much for finding that for me and for picking that up for me because it really does mean a lot to me. And I had to just interject that and say that thank you so much personally. And now let's get back to what we were watching. Uh, I actually posted this cup on Instagram and a bunch of you guys had asked where I got it from and I tried to look so I can attach a link but I, I can't find it anymore nobody like makes it anymore I got this cup from my mom years ago when I first started reading the books just says tied up with Mr. Gray with the tie it's a smaller mug but I just use it for decoration and then inside of the mug this is all that I have left from the other years but I ordered this the very first year. It was like a bag of these paper hearts and I just used them to sprinkle them on the table. It might not focus because there's a lot of words going on. Oh, there it is. Um, these are actually hearts cut from pages of the book. So I ordered them from a special website that does things like this. And I actually had a lot of fun when I first got them the first year, kind of going through and trying to find if I knew what pages, like, everything came from or what book, because it doesn't say what book. It just says from the series. So I'll just sprinkle those out amongst the table. I got these little Valentine's Day, like, individually wrapped chocolate covered and caramel pretzel so I'm going to leave one on everybody's plate I think or I might put them in these little boxes so I've been using these same I have more these are from a Dollar Tree I've been using these same boxes now since the very first party they just look very Christian gray to me um, and I use them to house everybody's favors and stuff that I leave at the table for everyone the first year I think I put like everyone's movie ticket inside this year the ticket was digital so I couldn't do that um, but I like did that with this so I think I either may leave this at the 
place setting or put it in the box, I'm not sure. Uh, I just brought one of every glass right now just to kind of show you like the different kind of charms. I ordered these the first year too. They're just wine glass charms and they have all different things. I think it came with a set of 12. The first year I made these glasses, I bought glasses from a Dollar Tree. I know it's going to be really hard for this to focus because there's so much going on here, but I just used like glass paint and I wrote 50 shades and like I drew a little flogger there. I drew a tie, a mask. I wrote my name on it and little handcuffs and then at the very bottom I wrote the date the 21315 and I have my little handcuffs charm on my glass and all the girls from the first year got one of these glasses so any charms that were on theirs they took home uh, so I don't have the full set of 12 but everything that I had left over I saved and we've been reusing every year so like I said here's the tie here's the handcuffs this one says 50 which is one of my favorites um, so I just have a bunch of these wine glasses all set out for the girls to use and then this is a stemless wine glass um, and it says let me see if there's any way mm, probably won't but you can kind of see that it says later's baby and it has a handcuff imprinted on it this was a gift for my mom a couple of years ago so you could actually tell this candle's kind of burned i just leave it like this and light it and i put it in the center of the table I bought like 12 of these boxes from the Dollar Tree, all different movie theater boxes. I'm going to set them up on the table. This way everybody can take a movie theater box of candy with them to the theater in their purse instead of paying the astronomical price inside of a movie theater. So I got all different ones of that. These are my little tabletop stands. Everybody's been handling them, so I kind of have to go back over them now. But I sat here with my... Um, my menu and kind of went over some of the things that I need so we have the European dessert platter which is good because they spent their honeymoon in Europe so that kind of plays into this a light meal for two I think I'm going to put near one of the pasta salads date night pizza because I order these little pizza roll-ups that just says chicken nibbles I mean that's not really like a play on 50 but I, I don't it's popcorn chicken so I don't really know how to nibbles made me think of nibbling I don't really know I just thought <laughs> that's what I would write so that's what I wrote for this one not very creative for those ones but um, I show you guys these boxes and then these I bought from the Dollar Tree as well they're just fake white rose petals and this is the wedding movie so I'll skittle, sk skittle, scatter those all around onto the table this is just the red confetti that I use to fill these inside of these boxes. And then here comes some of like the decoration stuff, things I just kind of place around for decor. So Anna's favorite tea is the Twinings English breakfast tea. So I actually use that and there's some tea bags in here. Like I just place that around. I'm actually out of tea bags because the first year I gave everybody like a tea bag in there, um, in their little box. And then the rest of the time I've just been using it for decor. So these are my fake can cuff keys and then uh, I labeled this last time the keys to the red room and then this is my 50 shades of gray classical album I love this CD it is so stinking good it's just great classical music something very Christian would listen to um, so I'll, I usually have that playing and then I have two TVs one in the living room and one in the kitchen so I'm gonna put the original on in the living room and darker on in the kitchen this way there's those movies playing in the background and then this is just my box set of books that I'll leave around for decor that's my Christmas chalkboard sign from the Target dollar spot that I just wrote you are mine on um, just to leave again as decor and these are all Dollar Tree things which is great because they really played into the into the decor so these are some of the things that Christian asks for when he goes into the hardware store in the first book so he asked for cable ties he asked for rope so I just thought those would be cute decorations to put into play um, even Daryl has um, one of his big helicopters that he um, flies with his dad like a remote control one so I usually leave that out um, as well for Charlie Tango but I'm not allowed to touch that until it's just about party time because he does not want that messed up so um, this is just like a funny little thing I usually leave this out for decoration and make everybody sign it it's just a non-disclosure agreement just kind of little play on 50s words 
and then this is from the first year but I always thought it was cute and I've just kind of kept it each year and laid it out but this was my invitation the first year um, was the contract and like it says February 13th of 2014 um, and we printed these out um, like I said as little invitations to come to the party and you had a sign if you were going to come and send it back so I've just been using that for decoration and this year this I printed last year but I had extras so I made more copies and I used them as placemats these are just coloring pages of the love me like you do song so like I said I just use this as a placemat and then here is what I use as a table setting and I just kind of put this on top so I figured this kind of looked really elegant this year because it's the wedding movie. So I thought this looked a little dressed up. It's a bunch of different pieces here. So this is a plate from the Dollar Tree that looks like that. And then there's this white long napkin here. And then this little square napkin that I put over like that. And these are silver utensils from the Dollar Tree. So, so stinking cute. Gotta love that. And that's how the that's going to be set up. These are even masks from the Dollar Tree, which kind of play into the second movie. So I usually just leave that on everybody's place setting like that just to look a little prettier. So here's a couple of those. Here is Bingo. We played this last year. I'm hoping we have time to do this this year. So it's just we printed them. It's 50 Bingo. And here are the calling pieces for me to call because I printed them myself. So it's nothing spectacular. Here's some more decorations, um, 50 shades, just a couple of magazines. I usually just lay these out on the coffee table. I've never once been able to play this game. I've never played this game. I bought it to hopefully play the first movie and that never happened. So now it's kind of just decor, but I'd love to play eventually. Um, these I made the very first year and usually I try to use them again each party. So I usually put the hard limits out near candy, um, do a cute little play with Skittles and M&M's. So I leave that out. Uh, the bow tie me up pasta. That's actually going to go right here because here's the book from Publix of what I ordered. And there's actually a bow tie feta pasta salad bowl, which I ordered. So I thought that would be a cute little you know, play on words. Um, so hummus and pita chips, I'm going to put that out. Um, I'll show you guys right here in a second. So that says submissive sandwich bar. And I love the cold cut sandwiches from um, Publix. That is part of the reason why I order from them. Okay, so here is the tray that says sub selections. So I ordered a tray of that to go with this little submissive sandwich bar one. And then here are just like different ones. I'm probably not going to use all of them because I'm cooking different food this time. Again, I made these the first time, but this says the submissive will not snack between meals with the exception of fruit and nuts. So I'll put that out with some fruit and nuts. Um, she wants hearts and flour, so I always buy myself flowers and put some kind of candy out. And then this goes near the fruit as well. And then just different various ones like vanilla. I usually do something, you know, vanilla related just to play off of all of his words. So I showed you guys the sandwiches and the bow tie me up pasta. So I will show you, um, let me see, before I get out of the desserts, Here's the European specialty platter, has cannolis and cream puffs and eclairs and chocolate covered strawberries. So I always order that, that is fabulous. Um, and then we're also doing this Greek pasta salad bowl, but I asked them to do the feta on the side since we're already doing a feta one this way. If nobody wants feta cheese, they don't have to do that one. And then I ordered these pizza roll-ups, but I asked them to do no face. I guess this is supposed to be kid-friendly options because they have other like face things, but I really didn't want the face because I don't think that was appropriate for this party. So they're gonna do that with no face. And then I ordered a tray of the popcorn chicken, like I said, and then I'm gonna do some cheese and crackers and vegetables and the fruit and nuts and that kind of thing. So that's what I'm getting from Publix. And then here is some of the 
favor stuff that I have. And like I said, um, I'll attach all these people's links because I got them from Etsy. So none of this is sponsored or anything, but these people did a great job and they got everything to me super quick. So I'll make sure to leave all their contact information in the description box in case you want to give them a try out. So I ordered these two little things. I ordered one for myself and then one as a gift. So it's a perfume roll, like a roll on um, a perfume and it's 50 shades of gray scent. So it even has like a little detail says 50 shades of gray on it. And then I ordered 50 shades of gray soap from her. Now that's this, it doesn't, didn't say anything. So Jen printed 50 shades of gray and we just taped it on and everybody is getting a little soap at their plate um this is a reusable shopping tote bag and it just says every fairy tale has a dark side i love that and this is going to be the door prize inside of that is a bracelet which is a replica of the bracelet he gives her in this movie so that bracelet is wrapped right now and put inside that tote bag and that is the door prize the big prize of the day um i did order a we aim to please um mr gray shot glass nothing spectacular about that just a plain old white uh, clear shot uh, shot glass with we aim to please on it and I ordered two bookmarks and a wine like a wine cork stopper that says you are mine that looks just like that with the dots but like I said I'll pop some pictures up so you guys can see if everything is too wrapped and you don't see it later I did get these five zero balloons from the Target dollar spot and I absolutely love them because they're not blown up with helium. That is air and I love that. Like it comes with a straw and you just blow air into that thing and you they, it sticks and no helium needed so it'll stay like that forever. So I really think I'm gonna save these um, and reuse them for all other, no like I'm gonna see if I can go get more numbers and like reuse them for other parties because I think it's that's great, they look so cute. So I'm actually going to set this table up with a, um, a white tablecloth like the wedding. I have a red tablecloth on the dining room right now. And then the island behind me will get um, a black tablecloth. But you guys will see all that in the following footage. So let me go get ready because we have lots to do today. And I will be back to check with you guys in just a minute. Okay, guys, it is like go time. I'm so excited. It is a little after four. Everyone said that they were going to be here about 4.15. I just completely lost track of time. I didn't even check back in with you guys because I've been running around like crazy trying to get everything done. So I'm going to go downstairs right now. I want to light some candles and stuff before everybody walks in like... I'm as ready as I'm going to be. I really just did not have, I wanted to straighten my hair and do like more time on my makeup and stuff, but there's just no time. So I'm more or less just worrying about getting there and making sure we get seats, all of us together, because it's a party of eight. So I need to make sure we all get there together and I wanna make sure that we um, hurry up and get back so that we are here to receive the food because it will be delivered about seven and the movie starts at 5.15. So everyone is planning to caravan and leave my house at 4.30. So, ooh, so excited, so close. All right, I will be back to see you guys um, right after the movie's over. I vow to love you faithfully, forsaking all others. I promise to love, to trust, and to respect you, to comfort you in times of need, and keep you safe. All that I have is now yours. I give you my hand.
what'd you guys think? It came out really cute, right? I was a little disappointed. I mentioned in my grocery haul that Publix messed the food up just a little bit. Probably not able for you guys to see, and luckily for me, my guests didn't know, but as for me, I knew that I asked for one of those salads deconstructed so that if someone didn't want feta cheese or all of that put together, they could have used um, just the individual pieces to dress their salad as opposed to it being all mixed together. They did forget the vegetarian option in my sub sandwiches. I wanted a tomato mozzarella with olive oil fresh basil option for those who came to the party that did not eat meat. Um, and so the, and the chicken was ice cold because they were super, super, super early and we were a few minutes late. So the, nobody really even ate the chicken because like who eats cold chicken nuggets. So I did get a refund from Publix that gave me $70 of store credit to shop inside of their store, but it was still not the same. But the guests didn't know and they still seemed to eat and feel stuffed. And I still feel like everybody enjoyed that. But I think that we just had such a good time because we were coming off the high of the movie. Now, avid reader, read all three books, read gray, in the middle of darker right now. And the movies just the first two the first one at least was just absolutely nothing like i thought it was going to be and i was a little disappointed the first book is slow but the first movie just ah uh, second movie new director new everything el james was going to be on set all the time kind of going over and overseeing and having a lot of her constructive input i saw a difference in darker but I don't know. I know movies are not always the way that the books are, but I feel like there's so much jammed inside of the books. Like if you've read them and you know that the very first page of the first book starts the end of May and then the end of the third book is towards the end of September. Like they never even get into October in the book. I mean, they do flash back for two years at the very end of the third book, but for the most part, all three books take place from the end of May to the end of September. So there's not a very long length of time, but the books are very long. So it's a lot crammed into that little bit of time. And a two hour movie sometimes just can't do justice to the little bits of things that allow you to dive in and understand the characters. I feel like by this movie, they figured that you've already really known the characters. I can tell that Jamie Doran, like, that they were a lot more comfortable with one another. They were acting. Dakota Johnson and him had a great chemistry this time go around. I didn't feel like that was always the case, but they did a really great depiction of this book. I feel like very spot on. I can't, for me, a avid lover, I really had very little complaints. I am very satisfied with the way that it all turned out. And I hope that if you love these movies and the books, that you'll go and you'll see it and you'll give this one a chance because it really is so good. I can't wait for it to come out on movie because then they do like the editor's cut while they do like extra scenes and stuff. So I can't wait to see that. They did show in the coming attractions that in the club scene in Colorado that Christian does engage in the fight, but that part was not in the movie. So I know there's gonna be some great extra scenes in the editor's cut. So I'm looking forward to that, but I hope you guys enjoyed what a little bit that I got and what I pulled together. And thank you so much for your patience and waiting. Comment down below. Let me know if you saw the movie and your thoughts, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.